So we're out hiking with the kids. It was a four hour long road trip because we got lost because Polyus didn't really know where we were going. Ended up on a unpaved road, my poor car. But now we're at Mount Hood Meadows Ski Resort, walking around and look at that view back there. Just gorgeous. Of course, none of them are waiting for me because they don't care if I'm taking pictures again. You know, it's a thing. Good morning everybody, it's 1 a.m. Monday, September 2nd, and we are headed out to the grocery store. The kids are coming over later for our barbecue, but we need food to cook for them, so all right, I'll be back. everybody it's Tuesday morning September 3rd I had to count yes I had to count it's 9 28 a.m. I want to go out and run a couple of errands that I don't really need to do but I want to do first I okay I didn't think I'd get the last five videos for 2019 filmed today but guess what I did <laughs> good evening it's Wednesday, September 4th. I don't think I've vlogged all day today. <laughs> I've spent the day chatting with friends and editing the last five videos for 2019. So all the commitment videos for the rest of this year are done and loaded and scheduled or whatever is going to happen with them. They're all done. Um, going forward, because I have done any, everything in advance, I've tried hard to put in um, all of the um, promised links in the description or the ones that are for hops when I get them I'll be adding them if I forget something y'all tell me please put something in the comments and I'll fix it one's already been caught and it wasn't a commitment video it was the vlog or I'm sorry it was the my muse anyway we're gonna go for a walk and uh, yeah try to work the kinks out from sitting in the desk all day all right I'll be back Good morning. I just took my picture accidentally again. Holy cow. It's Thursday morning, September 5th, I think. Yeah, 5th. I had to count. Yes, I had to count. Um, <laughs> holy moly. I am, it's just before, oh, sorry. It's just after 9 a.m. It's 9.01 a.m. I am headed out to go run errands early. I want to get them over with before it gets too peopley outside and get them done. August 
6th, I think. Um, I am driving already. Yeah, you can see. I'm headed home from Portland Airport from dropping my husband off. He is headed out to a to California for a California Masonic event with his old Masonic Lodge. So he's off to do that for a couple of days. And um, I am home dog sitting while he's gone because the kids are also out of town. So anyway, that's a thing. Lily, ball, Lily ball, ball, sit. All right, let's go. Go get the ball. Lily, go get the ball. Bring me the ball. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Give me the ball. Ball. One more time. Okay. Go get the ball. You gonna go get it? Go get the ball. Go get the ball. One more time. I think she's tired of bringing it back, people. Hmm. Lily, ball? Lily? Ball? You gonna bring me the ball? No. I think we're done. It is Saturday morning, August 7th. Is it morning? Yeah, it's still morning, 11.31. Um, it is a kind of cloudy overcast day outside. It looks like it's gonna rain, but I have all the windows upstairs open to get some of the cool fresh air in up here. I got two white knit sort of slips cut out um, and one knit dress. I hope the f knit fabric's not too thin, but I guess we'll find out when I make the dress. Yeah, that'll be interesting. I might have to cut it off and make it a top. Um, but we'll see. Um, so I got the three things cut out. I actually have a fourth piece of fabric to cut out, but I want to see how the one dress turns out first before I cut into the other fabric. I also have, do you see that pile back there? That's a pile of fabrics and trims that I need to go through because the space that I want to store them is limited and I have a tendency to be a fabric hoarder. So there, fun fact, along with all the rest of my art supplies. I did some purging before we moved, but I didn't do enough purging. Um, 
like with many things here in the art room and other places in the house because I wasn't real sure how much storage space for certain things there was going to be. Um, now that we're here and I'm settled in, now I know. So I need to go through that. I need to get some sewing done. But first, I'm going to go downstairs and check on Lily Bean and I'm going to break for lunch. And why do I call her Bean? Because she's a little jumping bean and she likes to jump. Yeah, so that's a thing. I'm working on breaking her of it, but I'm not going to hold my breath. All right, that's it for the moment. I'll be back. I should tell you all that I spent... A uh, good 15 minutes looking for my knit stay tape, um, which I use around all the hems of the neckline and the armholes and the hem around the bottom on anything that I make that's a knit. I either use the knit stay tape or knit interfacing. And um, that's why I pulled actually stuff out of the closet because I couldn't remember where I put said stay tape. Do you see where it is? Yeah. I'm so swift sometimes I just slay myself. Mm. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so I made myself this cute, um, I think it's cute, um, sort of a knit shift dress. It's a little bit of a thin knit, so I did make a couple of sort of knit slips, knit underdresses, I don't know. So um, I'll um, throw some pictures up he about here of those. Um, I have my leggings on underneath, which is what I was wearing today. I messed up the darts a little bit. I'm a little rusty with the whole sewing thing. Um, but I don't think anybody's going to notice except me. But I do know now. I may... I want to make another one, and I may just not put the darts in. I may recut the pattern to eliminate the darts. I really like the neckline and the, the kind of shape of it here. I, I don't think it needs the darts. And it's a knit fabric, so I don't understand. And the pattern's intended for knit, so I don't understand why it has darts to begin with. Um, this fabric is okay, um, but it wasn't definitely my favorite, and it was um, on sale. So I picked it to sort of try one. I will wear the dress, but I think I have some really cute fabric. I think I'm going to, like I said, just not put the darts in, because I think that would be better. Anyway, what do you all think? All right, that's it for now. I gotta clean out my mess and then feed Lily Bean. I'll be back. Okay, I still have to go through that stash of fabric, which I kind of want to do today. And honestly, I'm home alone with a dog, so I have nothing else to do. But I think I'm gonna go get the mail first. <sighs> Take a break from the sewing room. Uh, I recut the pattern and took the darts out. Not only were they a pain, I just don't think they're necessary and I don't think that they add a ton to the shape of the dress. I think if I shape the front correctly and add a little bit more um, fabric on either side of the bust line, um, because it's a knit, I'm gonna be making them at a knit and thin drapey knits at that, I don't, I think I can get away with not having them. I think it's silly to have them. So we're gonna fix it. Um, this is why when I do buy a pattern, I don't spend much money for them. I either get them at the thrift store or I buy them for like $3.99 or less when Joann's is having a sale. So anyway, um, this is a new look pattern and it, it's $3.99 regular price anyway, plus I had a coupon. So I will um, put um, the pattern that I used for the knit slip thing, which is also a dress pattern by the way, and the one for the blue uh, in the description below if y'all want to try it and look them up. Um, it's a little bit drizzly outside, but I might take you know who with me and go for a W-A-L-K. Yes, we have to spell it. We're like Mike Deacon and Ian Campbell because if we don't spell it, yeah, somebody goes crazy like Bentley. So I'm going to go get ready and I'll be back. She just ate and I swear to God she came over to me as soon as she was done and said, can I have some of your food? No. <laughs> I got the other fabric cut out for the other dress without the darts, so we'll see um, how it goes. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I have enough fabric to do one other one because they it was a bolt-end situation and I got a good deal on it. While I'm standing up and I'll let her out. Um, so it's all cut out. I didn't get rid of as much fabric as I thought I was going to. But um, I did gr get rid of a few things. I started a box under the table again, um, like I did um, last time. Actually, one of the auction boxes um, was started that way. It was under the table, and 
some of the things were, that were in there um, got divided up among all the auction items and um, I spread things out and anyway, I got another box going. <laughs> There's already a piece of original artwork in there, a few tools I'm not using and some knit fabric scraps, some interfacing. I don't know what else is gonna end up in there but I'll let y'all know when it's ready. I'm gonna sit down and eat my dinner now and watch some more Can't Pay We'll Take It Away. I don't know what it is with me in that show, but I'm addicted, so addicted. That and Star Trek, holy cow. Um, anyway, it has been a great week, an interesting week, uh, and um, I got more sewing done than I thought I was going to, holy cow. Um, but anyway, it's been a fun week, and um, hopefully next week will be the same. I hope you guys have had a good one. I will make sure to put any relevant links in the description below. As always, my link tree list of links where you can find me on social media, support the free content, and all that jazz is also in the description below along with my happy mail address. So check it out. Have a great week. I'll see you next week. <laughs> Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.